if his foreman is his brother, his accountant is his father, and they're both the same guy, you might have a bad building contractor. <laughs> if he says he's late for work because of his parole hearing, you might have a bad building contractor. <laughs> if his assortment of monkey wrenches comes with an assortment of actual monkeys, you might have the wrong remodeling contractor. If he refers to your circuit box as the ouchy black thing in your basement, you might have a bad building contractor. If his permit is written in crayon on the back of a Chinese menu, you might have the wrong building contract. Thank you, y'all been great, good night. Hey, that guy is good. But if you've ever been in a remodeling situation that hasn't gone all that smoothly, this may not be very funny at all. In fact, poor communication, a lack of integrity, or insufficient experience and knowledge on the part of the contractor can turn your project into a living nightmare all too quickly. Here are some tips on how to select a good remodeler to keep that from happening to you. Employ a contractor established in your area and ask for references. Contact state or local agencies to ensure proper licensing and bonding. Check your Better Business Bureau or Consumer Affairs Office for any issues or complaints. Ask to see a copy of the contractor's certification of insurance, including workers' comp, property damage, and personal liability insurance where required. Of course, one of the best pieces of advice is to let Neri be your guide. We've already done much of the screening for you. And with our code of ethics, practice standards, education, and certification, you can be confident in NARI members' experience, expertise, reliability, and integrity to make your remodeling dream a reality.